What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian White. The WBC mandatory challenger Dillian White claims to have the perfect game plan to defeat Tyson Fury. He says, I'm going to be targeting the head and the body. Dillian White reveals how to beat the Gypsy King. Of course, the Gypsy King looked exceptional in both Wilder fights. He outboxed Wilder and displayed his elite level footwork and head movement. However, Dillian White refrained from praising Fury. He says, White stated that Wilder does not punch hard. Hmm. Furthermore, he said that the Bronze Bomber cannot throw a body punch. And uh, Dillian White said this also. He says, Fury knows Deontay Wilder doesn't hit as hard as what everyone makes out. And Deontay Wilder can't body punch, White told Sky Sports. He says, White believes that Fury versus Wilder 2 could have had a different outcome if Wilder had to mix up his strikes. Had Wilder been hitting him to the body early in the fight, he wouldn't have been able to get up from that punch in the later rounds. But his body was fresh. His legs were fresh. There were nobody there was nobody punching going there is no body punching going on. Wilder can only head hunt. <laughs> he says you can shake the head punches off sometimes, but when your legs but when your body is broken down and you've been hit up and down, that's how you've got to fight Fury. You have to fight him up and down. Wow. Okay. Interesting stuff by the body snatcher. The body snatcher says that he's going to, he would work the body of Tyson Fury to break him down later on. It sounds like a good plan, but you have to deal with the elusiveness by Tyson Fury anyways. But... I do agree with the Dillian White. Um, Wilder is not a body puncher. In fact, when you see him throw body punches, it looks so awkward that you can tell this man does not practice on body punching at all. All of his punches are targeted to the head. Jab, right hand, um, right hand, left hook. It's pretty much it. Pretty basic standard. Body punches, no. Even when he throws a body punch, it just looks weird. He's, he's like he's winging it. And you can tell those punches that he's throwing to the body or he's attempting to throw to the body, they don't have any body behind it. Okay? They're all arm punches. If you, see, if you watch Wilder on the mitts and he's throwing the left hook to the body, it looks so awkward. And it just shows you that this man, they didn't take time with this man to work the body. But then again, he could get away with it because he is, what, six, 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 seven. So how many times a guy that tall will actually go to the body, you know? I mean, in fact, he could always target that big right hand to the body, and he could be a totally different weapon when he targets it in a different location. So I get what Dillian White was saying, because if Dillian White replaced himself in that first fight, you know, uh, the first Fury Wilder fight, and he put himself in the shoes of Wilder, he would have went to the body on Tyson Fury, and I believe that. That's if that fight would have went that way, you know. But you got to ask yourself, styles make fights. And people do get broke down to the body, especially when you put interest in that bank. When you go to the body and you're working that body, it takes juice out of your legs and your back, okay, especially when it's a roughhouse fight, you know. Wilder threw only to the head. He didn't throw to the body at all. But again, we just went through that. So it makes sense on what Dillian White said he would do or can, and can do. Will it ever happen, though? That's the number one question. Will White ever get his shot at Tyson Fury? You know, because, you know, Tyson Fury's, you know, flip-flop. Yeah, you don't want to fight you one day, then he'll knock you out the next day. Then he don't want to fight you again the next day. Then he ain't dropping his belt not to you know, to, to avoid you the next day. So... We don't know. That's Fury from day to day. But Dillian White is absolutely right How on, on that issue. But him saying, oh, well, Wilder does not punch hard. Mm, I don't know. Because I think it's unfair for White to say, Wilder don't punch hard when you never got punched by Wilder. You know what I mean? How the hell you know Wilder doesn't punch hard? Now, he could have said Wilder doesn't punch as hard as people think. Okay, that's a debate. We can argue that. 
But saying a man that you never got in the ring with can't punch hard, that's been putting guys out, that hit Fury and was like, oh, God, now, now there's a flip. Wilder hit Fury with punches, and you could tell Wilder was improving on what he did. Okay? Aqua Geagis, do what you do well. Okay? That's the Latin term. And that's what Wilder improved on. The only problem is he didn't do or practice anything else because he thought what he practiced and what he did, all those other fights, was going to pay off and it was going to be enough, but it wasn't. So you could argue that. But to say the man don't hit hard, okay, now for this reason, okay, I want to see White versus Wilder. I don't give a shit who has a belt. I don't care. I mean, you know, the belts are, you know, that's extra. But the warrior, the fight itself, the combat itself, that's what I want to see. Okay? That's exactly what I want to see. I want to see White go in there and fight Wilder. And if Wilder knocks White out, then we could ask White, uh, does he hit hard now? <laughs> you know? Because those guys have been targeting each other for a while anyway. But I would love to see those guys get it on, especially when Dillian White claims that Deontay Wilder can't hit hard. Right? <laughs> But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Dillian White's game plan to take out the Gypsy King. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.